So let me ask a really stupid question. Yes. Because, you know, you and I started acting in the era where we all talked about being centered and being centered. Yes. So for whatever we take that. So here you are in a show yes. where you have literally five seconds. If the shoe doesn't go on, you're in problem because you've got a track back there because you're picking up there because you're not because you're wig. So where does Fiona, the performer, oh. find her time? I don't want to get your breath. Where am I going? What's the scene? And away you go. How do you... Well, it's, you know why that's such a good question? <clears throat> because in Harry Potter, the acting is one part of it. It's not every part of it. So the math of... Uh, Fiona, when you hit here, if you're two inches that way or two inches that way, you're not lit. Or if you're two inches that way or two inches that way, you won't, uh, f the trap won't work or the, or the, you know, the effect won't happen in the way. If, if, if this, I don't have this, but if this, if this thing doesn't work, this thing doesn't hook up this way, you, you, you give a hand signal and then it, the, we, do, we do something else if, the hand, if it right. hasn't worked. So, so you, it's, it's such a great challenge for the mind-body connection, which is actually uh, one kind of acting, but it's a different kind of acting than the acting that you and I started out with, which is because I don't know about you, but I think, well, I think we would both agree that the way we approached acting was much more about serving the text. The text for me was key, to the point that I remember you and I having some really good fights about uh, <laughs> the way in which one serves the text and, and where concept comes in and where ideas come in. And, and, but, but text was king for, I think, and queen for us both. Um, and in this, it still is, but it's one facet of your presence on stage. And so, oh, so... So how did Fiona, who was brought up in the text, there you are doing Old Coward, there you are Shaw, there you are Stratford, mm. text, text, beautiful text, beautiful yeah. acting. And this other discipline, meaning I have to perform, I have two inches here, I yeah. have five seconds there. How do you, how did you marry that onto the person you'd been up to that point? Well, mercifully, they know it's a challenge because they want good actors but they want good actors who have an inner rhythm and can move to a rhythm. So you can't, you can't be seen in Harry Potter unless you've done this 45 minute audition. And of course, what we were put through, um, there's a thing called wand dance that, that, the, that mercifully, I think there's nobody over 30 in that. But we were all put through that audition where you had to follow your wand and you had to sort of uh, do a, a sort of mini somersault on the ground and then get up and follow your wand. And, and This is part of the audition. It, part of the audition. And me going, oh, I think I failed wand. And um, thinking, oh, I won't. But then mercifully, you know, my age category doesn't have to do that. But they do want to know, do you work well with others? Um, do you take cues from other people? Um, I always, there's a, another performer in New York that I say, you got me the part in Harry Potter because there was a, a part of the audition where we had to, um, we had to memorize seven different gesture sequences and we had to hand them off to your partner. So I had to do hers and then she did mine and then I did hers and then she did mine and then, and there was one point where in the final call back in New York where I think I had mumbo jumbo in my brain and was going, I actually don't know what I'm doing right now, do you know what? And she made my gestures look like something and made uh, my omelet into something that was presentable. And I always say, you got me the part. 